In this video, I'm going to go over an example of computing a dot product in C. So a dot product works like this. If we have two vectors, these tuples of numbers here, a dot product works by multiplying the corresponding numbers together in the vectors and then summing the results. So you'd multiply two by three, you'd multiply five by two, you'd multiply four by one, and then you sum the results together and that gives you the dot product here. So because a dot product is something that we might want to do in different places in our code, we're going to put this into a function. So we'll say here float and we'll say dot product. And we're going to represent these vectors, these tuples here with arrays, because that's the obvious choice. And we're going to say here float because it's going to return a float, which is going to be the dot product itself. So we're going to say here float, we'll say v1 and I'll say float v2 for the second vector and then we're going to have to have a length too so i'm going to say int length and that'll be the length of the vector because vectors can have varying lengths and then we'll create the definition for this function here and it's not going to be a particularly long function or a particularly difficult function because what we're really going to have is a sum that we're going to create and the sum we're going to create by adding the result of multiplying the corresponding numbers in each tuple together and it'll look like this we'll say float sum we'll start it off as zero and then we're going to have a loop and we're going to say for int i is zero until i is left until i is equal to the length i plus plus and what we're doing here is we're going from zero until the length of the vector and we're going to multiply v1 at i and v2 at i together and add the result to the sum so we'll say sum is equal to sum plus and then we'll do v1 i times v2 at i and what we're doing here is we're basically saying from zero until the length incrementing i by one each time we're going to multiply together the corresponding numbers in v1 and v2 and we're going to add the results to the sum i could shorten this down i could probably just say this instead i could just say plus equals and just do v1 i times v2 i but either way it's okay and then once we're done that once we've once we've computed all these these products here and we've added together uh, all of them into the result here into our sum we can return it so we could say return the sum and then we can test out our function here so we could test out our function with some example vectors here and we might as well use these numbers here so we'll say here float v1 is equal to we can say here 254 float v2 is equal to we'll say 321 and then we'll have a result that we'll store. So we'll say result is equal to, and we'll call the function. So we'll call dot product with v1, v2, and the length being three. And then we could print out the result. So we could say print f, we'll say result percent d, and we'll output the result. And we'll just see what we get here. Now, hopefully I've written everything correctly. There's a good chance I've made some kind of a syntax error. Yes, I did. Oh, percent D. Oh, yeah, this should be percent F number one because we've got a uh, floating point value here, right? It's, so it's a percent F placeholder we want to use. Percent D is for integers. So we'll clear that. We'll compile it again, run it here, and I get a result of 20, and that is correct. And so we've made our dot product function here. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.